Making sense of temperature differences. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to discuss a hot, and sometimes cold, topic. Comparing temperatures. We'll cover the basic vocabulary used in English for expressing and comparing different temperatures. So, let's turn up the heat and get started. Let's start with some fundamental temperature words. When we're talking about temperatures, we often describe them as hot or cold. These are our basic adjectives. When the temperature is high, we say it's hot. On the other hand, when the temperature is low, we say it's cold. But of course, temperatures aren't always at these extremes. We can use words like warm to describe something that is somewhat hot or cool to describe something that's a bit cold. So, it's hot too for high temperatures, warm too for moderately high temperatures, cool too for moderately low temperatures, cold too for low temperatures. Now that we have our basic temperature vocabulary down, let's look at how we compare temperatures. For this, we will use comparative and superlative forms. If it's hotter today than it was yesterday, you might say, today is hotter than yesterday. If it's the coldest day of the year, you could say, today is the coldest day of the year. Notice how we're adding er to hot to make hotter and est to cold to make coldest. This is the standard way of creating comparative and superlative forms in English. In some cases, instead of adding er and est to the adjectives, we use the words more and most. For example, the word pleasant can't become pleasanter or pleasantest. Instead, we say, today is more pleasant than yesterday. Today is the most pleasant day of the year. Remember, we use more for comparing two things and most for comparing more than two things. Lastly, let's touch on some phrases that can be used to express more complex comparisons. If the temperature has increased significantly, you can say, the temperature has risen sharply. If the temperature is falling gradually, you might say, the temperature is dropping slowly. These phrases can be great tools to express not only the changes in temperature, but also the rate at which these changes are happening. And that's our lesson on comparing temperatures in English. With these tools, you should be able to describe, discuss, and compare temperatures with confidence. Remember to practice using these words and phrases in sentences, as the best way to learn is by doing. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to stay cool, or warm, depending on your preference.